Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your May 2024 tarot and astrology reading. Uh, May's energy is going to be uh, easier than April's energy was for sure. Astrologically, um, it's not as doomsday. Um, the interesting thing about May, and I'm going to put this out here because for you guys, there's a really big focus on your future with May. And there's a lot of faded events that can happen, like Wheel of Fortune faded events that can happen for you for positive movement forward for future, for your future. And in a lot of ways, it's how you are handling um, the glow up. Like, how are you, you know, showing up for yourself and how are you showing up for others? Because the 11th house is about the community at large. How are you showing up for others and how are you showing up for yourself during this time of change and transformation and transition? Um, there's, there's a lot that we could say about what's going on in the world, um, and the state of the affairs that are going on in the world right now. And I think that, you know, one of the biggest things that I've really had to remember for myself is the more kind I am to others the more kind that ripples out into, you know, there's like an effect of kindness. Um, and when I'm kind to myself, I want to be kind to others. You see, it's like a coming full circle sort of feeling. Um, and so, yeah, so, you know, um, you guys are, you guys are home for a lot of people. You're the safe container that others kind of count on, you know, to be there for them uh, in their time of, you know, need or even not in their time of need, just to, to be there and hold space. And that can be huge. That can be like such a huge burden. And so I would love to see as we're getting closer to your season, Yes, we're still in Taurus season, but we're getting closer. As we're getting closer to your season, I would love to see you take some time out for yourself so that you can, you know, so that you can allow yourself um, to re re energize, regenerate. Uh, you know normally I'm looking at cancers and I'm saying, don't be a recluse. Don't go into your shell. Don't make it all about you. Don't, don't, don't. But at the same time, you guys need time to recuperate. We have temperance. And I think it's more about giving yourself some grace, a little bit of grace during this energy, this really strange energy we have going on. We have the five of cups. Um, and that's what I mean, like, whatever it is right now, whatever's in that three of cups that feels, feels like, like, I'm, I feel like I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, don't cry over spilled milk, right? Is it something that you want to still have on your plate right now? Because I feel like the heaviness is you know, there's a, there, it's uh, the material parts of life, you know, um, and when we allow the heaviness of, and the weight of what's happening in the world on the outside of us, when we allow that to creep in on the inside of us, that's how the dis-ease in the body happens, right? It's so funny. It's like, I've been you know, I'm one of those person that likes, I, I like to figure things out. I like to know what the cause and effect is of something, right? 
And so often I'm sitting here going like, what really causes that emotional disaster that happens inside of us? I'm a cancer Mars. I have that emotional disaster that happens inside of me, you know, so often, you know, and, and, um, mine's in the 10th house. So everybody gets to see the level of emotional maturity I'm at on a regular basis on every day. Right. But I, I feel like it can affect our foundation. I feel like it, it can affect, you know, where we're coming from when we let what's happening on the outside fully immerse and affect what's going on on the inside. You know, that concept has kind of been simplified by, you know, if you're not completely aligned with your body or if you're not aligned with your body in any way, then you're going to have dis-ease. And this is where my problem is. This is where I fight with myself because I, I am like, I am at the most aligned that I've ever been. And so when somebody tells me that I am unaligned because I am battling cancer, I want to look at them and I want to say, hmm, that's out of alignment with humanity. Your body's never going to be fully aligned with your soul because your soul is eternal and your body is not. There's a reason why meat has an expiration date. And we are meat. We are live meat, cells and muscles and all of that, right? And so when we start to look, right, at the, you know, this Ten of Pentacles, when you start to look at your life and you're starting to think about you know, what does that kind of pentacles look like for me? Start building it from the inside out. And I, and that is contradictory to what we've all been taught to do. We, you know, we, even if you are someone who never has to worry about how you're going to pay a bill or never has to worry about how you're going to keep a roof over your head or food in the fridge or you know, feed the kids or like whatever that is, even if you have the money and the funds and you're not the person, because there's a lot of people out there that can't pay their regular bills right now, like just let, you know, but if you are a person that, that is not in that, that situation, you can still very much feel ungrounded. You can still very much feel a lack mentality inside of you because money does not create happiness. Money can certainly ease life problems, right? Material things can certainly ease life problems, but it's not going to create happiness in the long run. There's got to be that healthy balance. So we learn how to have a relationship with it. I talked actually with Taurus about this. So if you have Taurus energy in your chart, go check out that Taurus reading. You might find some clues in there about the, you know, the relationship and the energy of money. Uh, Ace of Wands and the Magician came out on Temperance. Are you kidding me, you guys? There's something big coming. And I've been feeling this for a while, like generally for the collective, but I love that it came out in your reading. There's something really big coming and you've manifested this in really huge ways. And so allowing yourself to make the space to grieve the parts of your old versions and your old life and the way, the old way that you thought that 10 of pentacles was going to look, you know, we all have a, a way that we want our lives to go and our 10 of pentacles, our foundations to look. And oftentimes the universe is like, you are thinking way too small, my friend, think bigger, think bigger, think bigger. And I feel like that's what that magician in Ace of Wands is. It's like cancer, it's time to think bigger for yourself. It's time to expand and let that Taurus energy, the Uranus and Jupiter, we're going to have the sun in Taurus conjoining Jupiter and Uranus. Venus in Taurus will be conjoining Jupiter and Uranus while in May. And it's going to all be happening in your house of the future. Um, we have the Hierophant on the Five of Cups. Um, the Hierophant is that it is, is about leveling up. Um, 
And it is about the riches and fame. I mean, if you think about what the Pope looks like, right? The, 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 you know, and, and so it's almost like, I feel like with this five of cups and the Hierophant, the relationship that we have when it comes to the material life is one of those darkest shadow feelings that we can hold inside of us. And because money can be very powerful, it can have a very big impact. Material items can have a very big impact. And so I, I, that's what I feel like you're doing this month. I feel like there's this relationship to the material and how you want the future to look you know, and what you want that to look like for yourself. And again, it doesn't, it doesn't have to do with how much you have or how much you don't have. It's just in general, what are you doing with what you have? Are you grateful for what you have? Are you, you know, like things like that. We have the moon here. The Sagittarius moon is going to be really, really interesting. It's going to be in your sixth house. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's bringing, again, there's this really big, like, boost in your career, in your future, in your daily life, and the things that are happening for you. Um, and even if it's not career-driven, it's future-driven. It's future-oriented. And, like, what am I doing in my daily life? The moon at the bottom of the deck with the seven of cups. I do think that you're going to have a lot of opportunities come to you this month. And I think that you have a lot of opportunities for collaborating with other people to help you boost your future empire as well. So it's very inter interesting. I love the energy of, of May. Uh, the Hermit on the Ten of Pentacles. I really do feel like there's going to be a lot of an inner journey for you right now. Um, you know, Jupiter will be moving into your 12th house of Gemini in May, and Venus will also be moving into your 12th house of Gemini in May. So um, it's like, what do you value? And um, how are you putting that out into the world? You know, it's a very, um, very interesting kind of days and times right now. So take really good care of yourselves. I love you guys so much. Um, so, you know, my, I'm just a fan of cancer energy. Um, so I want you guys to really take care of yourselves and be good to you. I'll see you soon. Bye.